Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura. And today, let's talk about something that we all love and yet hate at the same time. But there's some tips and tricks on sewing Velcro. I love Velcro. You can get it in different sizes. You can get it in different packages. You can get it in pre-cut. It's easy to use and it's very strong. However, it can be a little bit difficult to sew on that rougher side. So there are some tips and tricks on sewing with this Velcro. We have two sides of the Velcro. The one Velcro is very soft and that side is quite easy to stitch over. It's this harder side that's a little bit more difficult. And the simple reason is is when the needle goes through these little loops, the little loops catch the thread. So as we stitch down, the thread gets caught. As we stitch up, the thread gets caught. So it gets caught when we're sewing through these loops. The back of Velcro looks like this ribbon. It's a very strong nylon type fabric. And that keeps that Velcro strong so that we can use it over and over again. When they make the Velcro, you will notice the two edges are smooth in both that soft side and that rough side. So what we're wanting to do is try to stitch right along that edge. And that's where a zipper foot can come in handy or a foot that we can move our needle over so it stitches right on that edge. If we need to stitch over top of this rough teeth, what we can do is cut ourselves a little channel or trim off some of these little rough edges. Fold that back and expose some of those little loops. And then carefully just give that a haircut. And I like to do about three of those rows of those little loops. So we can see that those are the big loops and I've trimmed off some of those big loops. So I have this one area where those loops are cut out of and this area where the loops are cut out of. So you can see where I still have all of those loops except in those two areas. So it's definitely going to be easier for me to stitch all the way around now that I have those channels. So if I need a two inch I'm going to have that two inch in between that little haircut. When sewing that Velcro, I would recommend using a strong needle, a big universal needle. You could use a super non-stick needle or even a jean needle. What we're looking for is something strong to stitch through this nice strong backing. There are a variety of different feet that we can use to sew on our Velcro. We could use a zipper foot, a reverse pattern foot. We can also use an edge foot. What we're wanting to do is stitch right along that tiny edge. While we're using this edge stitch foot, I'm going to have that metal run along the teeth and I want to adjust my needle so it sews right there in that little channel. So we're just going to let the machine follow those teeth and it really is going to follow that edge. When I come to this area, I'm going to be able to stop and stitch right along that area that I gave that haircut to. Rotate and continue stitching. So we can see that nice clean stitch along this edge and along here. You can also do a zigzag if you would like. Still using the same setup but the stitches are going to come off. So we're not stitching into those little loops. We're just staying on the outside. And for the zipper foot, it won't matter if we're using the left or right side. We want the teeth to run along that edge and the stitch, once again, just to catch that little lip. And when I get to this area, that I did that haircut, well, I just turn it and stitch. And to anchor that, 
I do just like to do a back stitch so the Velcro's on nice and strong. If you've left this little piece on, you can go in and trim it off. That soft side, we're going to be able to stitch the same way. So by sewing that rough side right around those edges and through our haircut area, we have no problems of thread getting caught up, looping, or breaking. We can get Velcro in packages that are pre-cut into little dots, squares, or little long pieces. And when we do buy these, be sure to check the back of the package and follow those directions. The peel and stick ones that have the adhesive on them already are not designed for fabric. They're designed for many other projects, but not fabric. That adhesive does not stay over a long period. So be sure to read that back of the package and make sure that that Velcro is the right Velcro for your project. And Velcro is used for a lot of things once we can stitch through it. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. I have a newsletter. It's all free under So Very Easy. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.